The first important step that you need to complete when configuring your IntelliJ is to calibrate your input. We see here a list of input protocols. I'm going to choose SBUS, but please note that the same instructions apply to all type of uh, input protocols. When hitting calibration here, we get to this screen where we should see the channels that we will calibrate. If I move this switch here, we can see it appearing on the, on the screen. And if you move the controls that you intend to use on your remote and you do not see anything appearing on, on your screen, it means that you either did not properly connect your receiver to IntelliJ or the input controls that you want to use are not properly mapped inside your uh, receiver and they are not uh, connected in fact uh, virtually to the uh, output channels of your uh, receiver. So please make sure you connect the devices properly and please make sure that you map your input controls to any of the channels that you have available. Now, it is very important for IntelliJ to properly identify the type of control that you are using. We see here that IntelliJ identified this as a three position switch, which is correct. But in case it does not identify it properly, please restart calibration and uh, repeat the process until you are sure that uh, IntelliJ properly identified the type of input controls that you are going to use. If we move this stick here, we see two channels appearing on screen because this is mapped to, to two actual channels and we see that the type that was identified here is slider. Now the slider term is a generic term that we use for sticks, for knobs, for actual sliders. So in fact IntelliJ uh, has two types of, two major types of controls the switch and the slider. It is important that a slider will never be mistaken as a switch. So when you move your sliders, please move them slowly in order not to fool uh, the software into believing that uh, it is a switch. If that happens, please restart the calibration process. Now let's flip another switch here. We have a two position switch. This is a momentary switch and uh, let's also rotate this knob to see that it is in fact detected as a slider, same as the stick. When calibrating uh, sliders, please move them from minimum to maximum and leave them at the end in the, in the center position. And uh, I also want to show you a special case. Assuming you do not have two position switches, Two position switches are important to, to have, but if you only have three position switches, you can just flip your three position switch between only two of the positions that you want to use, such as I just did uh, now. Once you have uh, identified all the input controls that you intend to use, and you made sure that the application detected, identified the type of control correctly, you can move to the next step. Here we have a notification telling us that we have to make sure to leave all the slider inputs in, in the center position. Because once we hit this button, IntelliJ will record this actual uh, positions that it reads now as the center position of your sliders. This is only, uh, only applies to sliders. You don't need to put your three position switches in, in the middle, only the type, uh, the ones that are identified as sliders. Another important thing to do before we go to the next step is to leave all, all our two position switches into off position. Now, this is a momentary switch and it has a spring, this means that it automatically goes to the off position. But we have also mapped this switch here and depending on your uh, taste, you can leave this in any position you want. Just remember that the position that you are leaving it now in, it will be treated as the off position. Once you, you followed all this, 
you hit the button and you go to the next step. Here, IntelliJ asks us to identify <coughs> those two position switches that are in fact momentary switches. Now, we have here, as I said, a spring switch. This is in fact a momentary switch. I'm going to tap it. When I tap it, you see here it is now treated as a momentary switch. But in order to have extra functions mapped to your two position switches, even if they are not momentary switches, you can force IntelliJ to treat them as momentary switches. So this one here is not a momentary switch, but I'm going to treat it as a momentary switch in order to be able to map extra functionality on it, as you will see, as you'll see in the mapping tutorial. Now, once I've done so, I can hit finish calibration and I get the final screen where I see all my uh, channels, the ones that I have uh, calibrated. Now, in case you uh, moved other controls by mistakes while doing the calibration, you can simply uh, delete them. For instance, I don't intend on using uh, this stick here, so I'm going to hit uh, the respective channel, touch it and choose to ignore it from now on. Same goes for this one, uh, one here. So I'm now only left with a three position switch with this knob here and with two, uh, two position switches which I have chosen to set as momentary. Another option that you have here is to reverse any of the channels that you have calibrated. So you have a reverse button here. If I reverse it, you see that the off position is now in the middle and not where, where it was uh, before. So you can also reset the, uh, the reverse if you wish to. So this is uh, in general what you have to, to do when calibrating your input. Please make sure you understand everything that was uh, explained to you in this, uh, this tutorial because without a proper calibration you will not be able to move forward and you will not be able to uh, enjoy the full features that uh, IntelliJ can provide to you.